welcome friends and uh, in this video i am not, not going to discuss about reaction mechanisms but i thought that i should uh, say something about rt bombay because uh, just yesterday the gate result was announced and uh, after some days csi will also announce the result and you people are uh, ready for phd so you are such uh, looking for good institutes for doing your phd and uh, so i cannot make a video uh, by saying uh, different institutes about different institutes in india because i don't have much experience about that because i am just a msc student but uh, in the iit bombay i am doing my msc for the last 2 years and i know about the department i know about the facilities so i i can share you that uh, things and i i know that will be very helpful for you so first of all if i talk about iit bombay so um, just uh, in 2008 in the according to the qs world ranking it is uh, it is the uh, its rank is 179 which is uh, more better than uh, even iisc bangalore right now if we talk about chemistry department then i think uh, at the at the present moment the type of research which is uh, occurring here and Uh, the number of publications per year so it is the top institute in chemistry right in your country so uh, now uh, so if you look at the web pages of different professors in iit bombay you will find that lots of papers they publish in uh, in every year and these papers are not the ordinary papers they are like uh, angio chem jacks and uh, your organic letters uh, joc inorganic chemistry These are good papers, right? So, this this indicates that good research are going on here. And now uh, you can easily find out the faculty list in the departmental website of the Department of Chemistry, Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. But uh, I would like to tell you about the facilities. So we have so in our institute we have uh, X-ray single crystal X-ray diffractometer, right? So it is a very good tool. for your x-ray crystallography it is a central facility and you can use it then you have nmr spectrometer of 500 megahertz and 400 megahertz then you have a 700 megahertz nmr spectrometer also which is a central nmr which is not in chemistry department but uh, for your biological samples you can use it then you have uh, epr spectrometer then uh, your uh, superconducting quantum inference device with helium 3 setup then high performance com uh, computing cluster and then high resolution mass spectrometry then your surface analyzer uv visible spectroscopy all things are there right so there are lots of things lots of instruments instruments are there uh, which you need for your research you will get all the facilities i i am not going to tell all about that but you can uh, find it in the departmental website and also in some lab they have their personal hplc and dcms right so instrumentation and facilities are not not as uh, Uh, with problem for your research right so you will get all the facilities if you took uh, if you uh, prepare a compound now you will get the, its nmr just after 2 to 3 hours or just then right uh, so they allotted for every lab they allotted uh, slots uh, and uh, after that there is open slot or open slot is also there and you can do your nmr then so instrumentation is fantastic here now when we talk about research so Uh, in iit bombay some fee, uh, so there are around 40 40 to 41 professors are there in your department uh, the departmental website you may get 37 because some new professors just joined their profiles are not there but around 40 to 41 professors are there and all are doing very good research right so in every uh, like every field in chemistry they are uh, doing research and particularly if you want to do computational chemistry iit bombay is very good because uh, the organic computational chemistry which is done here by the professor rv sunos group this is the i think the uh, as as per my knowledge my friend works there so uh, according to their publication and their uh, quality of work this is the this is uh, for the recent time this is india's best computational lab so if you are opting for computational chemistry this lab is very helpful for you so you should obviously uh, check out their web page and uh, find some more details about that right so after that uh, in organic synthesis also there are good labs 
uh, from the lab which I myself work the glycochemistry lab it is a it is one of the good lab in IIT Bombay and uh, uh, here uh, in our lab the works mainly on the bacterial glycoconjugates right so this type of uh, many people in India works on carbohydrate but this particular work is done by only our group so it is a very good choice again and then the organometallic uh, and catalysis lab by Professor Devabrutam IT this is a very good well-known lab you all know that and after that uh, uh, so one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, recently they announced that a supercomputer will also come to our institute so that will uh, obviously uh, increase the rate of computational technique right so it will be very helpful for computational people and uh, so these are the facilities and the research so according to me if you are planning for PhD in India then you should obviously try IIT Bombay uh, your, if your rank is good they will take you um, last year they took uh, from gate gate candidates also so you uh, if your rank is below 500 you can obviously try here and it is a very good institute so as per my opinion and uh, so there are some bad things about IIT Bombay is that the food quality you will not uh, like the food quality and I know in most of the hostel the same food quality is there so this is not a big issue but uh, I personally don't like the food quality and uh, so this is a minus point and again in Mumbai it is very hot weather so it is a it is another problem that you have to work hard in your lab so that, that uh, there is uh, in synthesis lab there is no uh, there is no air conditioning facility so it is a problem and up, uh, beside that all things are very good so uh, uh, if you have any query about further query about IIT Bombay you can uh, ask me in comment section so lastly I would like to tell you that you should obviously uh, try uh, this institute and uh, apply for PhD because uh, it is a very good institute for chemistry I think uh, this is the uh, number one institute uh, at the recent point in India right so that's all and Thank you for watching and I hope uh, this video will be helpful for you.